Hello, and welcome everybody to my Ops 35 camping video. Um, today we're going to talk about why you want to stop at 35, why you don't want to push to 37 or 39, and you know what the benefits and the drawbacks of camping at 35 are. Um, so if you've watched my Ops 29 video and you followed it to the letter, by the time you start leaving Ops 29 and pushing to Ops 35, you should, at this point, have a maxed uh, Saladin. Um, you should have um, Pike Moreau Chen pretty close to maxed. Um, you should hopefully have your Devor pretty high, you know, tiered up. Uh, your Vidar pretty high tiered up. Um, you possibly even have a shit ton of materials saved up, resources, and you know you're prepared. You're, you 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 watched my 29 video. You camped. You stayed there until you had you know your faction locks handled so that you know you're ready to start getting uh, you know those epic ship blueprints. Um, so you know you've got faction credits. Your officers. You're pulling transporter patterns. You know you're doing good. So let's talk about what happens when you get to 35. Okay. So at 35, a few things happen. One. Your refinery changes. Um, you're now able on the latinum to pull your concentrated latinum um, and convert, you know, for these two different chest pulls, convert latinum from concentrated. So now all that concentrated you might have been pulling to do your mining Monday events. Um, you know, now you, you can exchange it for fecha parts to upgrade a fecha. Um, you can exchange it for up to 2,000 latinum a day, just right out of the gate, without even having one. Just having a regular devour, which is extremely helpful because once you get your devour, uh, your devour maxed out, you can actually... Okay, look, read this. Gained by scrapping the original Devore ship at level 26 or higher. Scrap a level 41 or higher Devore to fully unlock the Devore Fisha. Now, the Devore Fisha, that's an epic Fisha. That's for pulling your concentrated, okay? This thing will mine the shit out of concentrated. Also, the other kicker, you've got that Franklin, the original Franklin, you get it. Uh, maxed out and guess what else you can do you know you can go ahead into the scrap yard and scrap that Franklin all right watch or not not factions I clicked the wrong tab hold on one second so we go here into resources right Franklin 2.0 the Frankie a okay you can get them Franklin a blueprints you know how you get those scrapping the original Franklin watch Let's click this here. Gain by scrapping the original Franklin. Scrap a max level Franklin to fully unlock the Franklin A. So this all happens at level 35. You, you can get your Fisha. You can get your Franklin A. Okay. This is important. This is a game changer here, guys. Because then you can start killing the Swarm Armadas. Um, your swarm dailies give you three times the, the points, so you have to do way less, way less work. It makes that grind significantly easier. Um, also, the biotic, swarm biotics gives you, look at all this, you get all these extra materials from your resource pool. Um, another big thing is you unlock a multi-purpose exocomp slot, okay? So... Once you get your exocomp factory to 35, you get this multi-purpose slot. Which so I'll talk about exocomps is you can take the 70%, like say you're grinding Federation rep. You can take this 70% rep and put it here on you know the regular uh, on your galaxy exocomp. Then you can come down to the multi-purpose slot. You can't do another 70. They don't stack like that. But you can come down and do a plus 40. Okay? So now you're you're running 70, what, 80, 90, 100, 110% rep increase? Wow. That should make your rep grind a lot easier. It's little things like that that make a huge difference. And planning ahead to get to that point. 
that's how you do it. So the other uh, key thing about camping at 35 is your scrapyard. Okay. You get that scrapyard up, you can start scrapping Mayflowers. You can start scrapping Legionaries and the uh, D3 for your four star mats, which can be used to, and keep in mind here, let's look at this. Right? You want to upgrade an amalgam past tier five. Um, look at what the materials requirements are. Four star. All right. Look at this. Four star. All right. Four star. It's no joke. You can have an amalgam early, but you can't get it past tier five without five star mats. I'm sorry, four star mats. You can't get four star mats without being either A, Ops 39, or B, having a scrapyard at 35 so that you can scrap Mayflowers, Legionaries, and D3s. And those give you the four star refined mats that you can use to upgrade like your Amalgam um, and other such items. Uh, primes as well, you can unlock Primes with that. So that's a huge thing about Ops 35. Um, some people say go to 36. The only reason that people say to camp at 36 is because it puts you a able to make the uh, Cerritos, which you can build, but you can get it at 35. You can get the blueprints during the California class event every Wednesday. However, you can't build it until you have Shipyard 36, which means you have to go to Ops 36. One downside of that, one thing I don't agree with going to 36 for, and that is because it will put you at the bottom of the next leaderboard. At 35, you are at the top of your bracket. Um, when you go to 36, you're put into the you know 36 to 39 bracket. I mean, you're at the bottom of the bracket. You're, you're going against people who are four or five ops levels ahead of you and have built the shit out of their stuff. So it's, it's not really prime real estate for winning any SLBs, guys. Um, but, I mean, it's an option. I mean, it's up to you. But me personally, 35 is the best place to be. It unlocks uh, a lot of different gameplay aspects, um, including, like I said, the Fisha, uh, the, the Franklin A, um, scrapping for five-star or four-star mats um, of your, you know, first-tier uh, Fed, ROM, and Klingon ships. Um, it also makes your, your epic pools and your rare Armada chest pools a little less, uh, you know, hijacked, legionary heavy, okay? So you get rid of all that hijacked ship bullshit, which is really frustrating to a lot of people. I, I mean, and personally, it's a waste because those four or three or two blueprints you could have gotten of those could have been an epic ship blueprint, like an auger, a D4, or an Enterprise. Um, and that's the other thing. At Ops 34 and Shipyard 34, you can build your Enterprise. And I recommend you stay at Ops 35 until you have your Enterprise at around Tier 5. Okay, don't need to go past that too much. You just need it because you need to get into, when you get to 38, you do your Dark Space mission. Then you start exploring Deep Space. Um, and, you know, that, that's another aspect of it, which you won't do until you get to level 38. But still, it's something to plan for. So you need to plan for having a lot of mats because at this point... Um, it starts requiring thousands and thousands and thousands of ore, gas, and crystal just to do anything. Um, resources, uh, tritanium and dilithium especially. But, you know, you want to be, you want to have billions of everything at this point. Um, so raiding is a big thing, which means upgrading your amalgam, which means scrapping ships to upgrade your amalgam, which means building new ships and tiering them to build... <laughs> You know, so you can scrap. It means scrapping. If you want to do that, you need to scrap your envoys too. Um, build and scrap. Build and scrap. Always be scrapping. Always be scrapping. Um, that gives you the mats you need to convert from two star to three star. And then you can use those three stars to do your uh, three star tier one ships so that you can build them up so that you can scrap them so that you can, you know, get your amalgam built up so that you can raid so that you can get the mats you need to upgrade the buildings to go higher so that you can get to where you can refine four star instead of having to scrap for it um there's a lot of different aspects to this and, and everybody can find their own pace but uh yeah so definitely camp at 35 guys um <clears throat> also you start to get the access to doing things like this and let me just show you these uh Swarm Armadas, guys. Oh, no, that's not there. It's it's further out. 
right here. Let's look at this. Let me show you these. Okay. You will need the Franklin A for these. Look at the size of these sons of bitches. They're huge, okay? You were not beating this without working your crews in tandem with the other members of this armada. That means somebody's going to run, you know, a damage crew. Somebody's going to run an anti-crit crew. Um, other people, you know, run different crews. But, but in all actuality, you need to coordinate your crews with people unless you're maxed the hell out. In which case, it might not make too much of a difference. But... But beginning, just getting into it from Ops 35, building your first, you know, Franklin A, um, maybe getting your first Fisha, you know, these are all little, little starter points for you guys. You can build towards your goals of uh, being able to defeat these armadas, um, maxing out your your Fisha, it's also and maxing out your Franklin, um, your Franklin A rather, and those, you know, those make a huge difference in gameplay. Um, you get more latinum every day, which you can use for uh, speed ups, um, saving it. I recommend saving it, saving it, saving it. It is a huge advantage to having it, um, but don't blow through it because you're going to need it. There's going to come a point where you're going to upgrade a ship and it's got 18 day upgrade time. Um, and you're going to go, holy hell, I wish I didn't blow all my latinum on ship repairs. Okay. <laughs> Use speed ups, and if you don't got them, just let it sit. Use something else. Um, and then your your other big thing at Ops 35 um, is also going to be your events. Um, a lot of the arcs are for 35 plus. So if you're at level 34, you will not get to participate in as much of the arcs and have as much content and an opportunity to unlock uh, the rewards at Ops 34 below. So and that's another big bonus to camping at Ops 35 is it gives you that starter level point for all of these rewards and benefits that you can get. Um, so definitely, definitely stick it out, sit at Ops 35, get your Enterprise or your Augur or your D4 to Tier 5. Um, it's going to take you a lot of time. You're going to be here a while. While you're doing that, you need to be raiding. You need to be scrapping. Um, you need to be working on your Fisha. You need to be working on your Franklin A. Um, you need to get your epic ship. Um, you need to finish off your triple lock if you haven't done it by this point. Um, which you should have if you paid attention to the Ops 29 video. But definitely need to be triple locked before going any further than 35. Um, because once you get to that point, you're going to start exploring deep space. And um, when you get to Ops 39, I mean, you'll be, you know, you'll be doing a refining of your four to your four stars. You're going to be needing to mine four stars. So this is also a good part of time when you need to be focusing on faction miners. They are faster at mining than amalgams. They can reach deep space. Um, they also are not, uh, they're not as terrible on cargo as the horizons are or the North stars are. These things can mine like a North star, but have cargo, you know, protection like a botany bay. I mean, it's just, there's much more room for, and, and if you do your research, which is another big thing, you need to finish all of the available research you have. I mean, all of it. Every last little module of research needs to be done before you go past 35. Because once you start going past 35, ship power means absolutely squat. Um, you will see ships that are 10 million power getting romped on by six million power ships simply because they have the research done simply because they have the research done and i will say that and i'll repeat that because if you do not get your research done and that means all of it all trees everything so that means running your stella duck models, okay as we call them running your exchange armadas to do the exchange tree uh, means your away team tree. There's a lot of important research in your away team research tree. There's a lot in Galaxy. There's a lot in the new Starbase tree. There is a shit ton of vital research that you need to do before you go past 35. Because I promise you, 
You could be level 40, you could be level 50. If you have not done the proper research in your research tree, you will be getting your ass handed to you by lower players or lower power ships simply because they have the research that you lack, even though you have the power on them. Power means squat once you get past 35. I promise you. Okay? I am Ops 35, and I am freshly Ops 35, and I am still whooping on Ops 39's Enterprises because they don't have the officers or the research to fight me. This is not good, people. I should not be able to whoop on people that are that high above me. They should have done the research, they should have the officers, and they should have had the mats in order to get to where I can't beat them back when they were at 35. So this is people rushing ops because they believe that ops means power. Ops does not mean power. Um, power does not mean power at this point. Power does not guarantee a win at this point. Once you get ops 35 and above, it's all research and officers and skill. Okay, This means learning proper ways to crew. This means learning how to counter specific crews. This means strategy. Learning how to double tap, learning how to, uh, you know, calculate mitigation, penetration, um, how to, you know, calculate damage, how to calculate defense, how to stat stack. These are all things that by Ops 35, you should know how to do. And if you don't, you need to go back and look at some of my other videos. You need to go back and look at some of Reb Deuce's videos. You need to go back and look at uh, some of DJ's videos. I promise you, if you haven't done it all, by the time you go from 35 up to 36, you will be hurting. So please, please go back, watch some videos, learn how to do this right because if you don't you're gonna suffer you're gonna hate the fucking game and you're gonna delete it and i don't want that i want all of you to keep playing i want to keep playing okay you can do this free to play you can do this dolphin to play you can do this as a fucking whale okay it's all about paying attention to the subtle nuances of this game which are all hidden in math okay i know you guys fucking hate math Sometimes I do. Some of you guys love math. Sometimes I do as well. It just depends on the circumstance. But at the end of the day, this game is built around logic and math. Um, so you're going to need to use a lot of that to calculate things. But the good thing is there's people like us who've gone out and done the math, done the research, and are now just making the video and telling you what to focus on. And in this case, I'm telling you research and officers. Fuck your ships. The only thing you need to worry about is one one epic ship and getting it to tier five okay after that fisha devore um your uh franklin a and your vidar okay those should all be taken care of but other than that research and officers research and officers research and officers anyway <laughs> Thank you again for joining me. My name is Icepick86, and you guys have a great day, and keep on trekking.